Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. Today I'm going to be giving you some advice on how to make your emails render better in Outlook. If I answer your question quickly, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and a little thank you in the comments. YouTube likes longer videos, but I like to answer your questions quickly and this will help other people find my videos as well. If you're watching this video, then you already know that emails render differently depending on what platform you're viewing them on. Um, they can render thousands of different ways based on the browser and the platform and what device you're viewing them on. And they all are different, but Outlook is particularly finicky. So today I'm going to go through with you the settings in the new builder that you should use or avoid to make sure that your emails are rendering as true to how you intended them as possible when they're viewed in Outlook. If you want to dig into this stuff a whole lot deeper, I will leave some articles in the description box below, but I'm going to give you tangible stuff today and show you how to run a simulation of what it will probably look like in Outlook so that you can make judgments from there. Okay, we are going to start from scratch and I'm going to demonstrate as we go. The first thing that Outlook has a lot of issues with is the width of an image. Okay, I've imported this image in here and you wanna make sure that your images are not on full. I understand that this may be how you want your email to look, but in Outlook, this can cause your email to come out extremely wide and the person will have to scroll width wise to see your whole email. So you wanna to stick to centered. Now, if you wanna compensate for this look with this new builder, you can close the padding above and below it and you can add a background color, kind of fill out the space. Next is font size. Outlook only likes even numbered font sizes. When you start a new email in MailChimp's new builder, if you head over here to the style settings and the defaults, your default for heading number one is going to be 31. That is not great for Outlook, so we always wanna make sure that we switch it to an even number. The next one is one that's not so much problematic, but you need to be aware of because it will render differently, and that is rounded corners on buttons. You may want rounded corners like this, but it may actually show up with square corners, or corners that are rounded in like a different amount than you intended, Next up, we're going to avoid this spacer block. I will drag it here and I'm gonna give it a background color just so we can see it while we talk about it. This block is meant to leave space between things and it either will not show up at all, so it serves no function, or you will get one of the, those phantom lines that happen in Outlook designs, so just avoid it. Instead, you can use a divider block which will have a line in it, but you can change the color of that line. Keep in mind that if you try to change it to an invisible line like this, like white on a white background, if someone's viewing the email on dark mode, they're gonna see the white line. The other option for spacing, and this is what I actually prefer, is to adjust the padding. So I'm gonna go into this button, and if I want space below it, I'm gonna go down to the padding, and I'm going to add spacing here. And that works a whole lot better. And now I'm going to show you how to run a simulation or a preview of how this will look in Outlook. Now, of course, you can send a test email to yourself if you yourself use Outlook, but MailChimp has a way of doing it as well. I added a full image here just so we can see how that's gonna look also. All right, we're gonna go to preview, inbox, and we're gonna start this preview. MailChimp will give you, I think 25 tokens a month. It may change based on your plan to be able to run these tests. So we're gonna get started, but we're gonna make sure we don't run more tests than we need to. So I'm gonna deselect all. There we go. They're gonna take a token for each one of these. So then I'm going to pick these two and I'm going to run the simulation. All right, let's see how this looks in the 2016 version of Outlook. And again, this is a simulation, so it's not a promise that this will be what it looks like. For this one, it's not running into a problem with the full image, but that doesn't actually mean that it won't cause a problem. Here's our font sizes. You'll see that our pill-shaped button here is now pretty much square with like a little rounded edge. That pink spacer is much smaller than it was before. Okay, now let's go over to the 2019 version. Top looks about the same, buttons look the same, but up. Uh, you see that spacer bar? Gone entirely, just didn't work. So that will give you a peek into things if there is something that's going to be causing problems in the future. 
Well, there we go. Those are the basics of helping your emails render a bit better in Outlook. I'm actually going to offer this cheat sheet here as a PDF. So when you join my email list below, I will send you this PDF so you can have it for reference. Don't forget to click all the things so that other people can find this video as well. And I'll see you around.